Do you know why a lot of pretty girls are still single? A lot of pretty girls are still single because they are confused. My name is Okoro Blessing and Kiroka, and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO. Many young ladies are confused. Men are not your problem. You see a lot of young ladies pushing the blame on you. It is a men are not your problem. The earlier you begin to understand that a man is not your problem, that is when you are going to be saved as a woman. You are the problem. Some of you women are holding too many things at the same time. So you are confused. Some of you women do not know what you want. You grab so many things that you cannot keep. You are holding a lot of things. You are holding. Look at what. Look at how your life is. See your life. So you don't even know what you want. This one is falling from your hand. This one is falling from. Your hand. This one is. You are confused. Do you know the meaning of confusion? Confusion is not an insult because a lot of people do not understand the English language. Confusion simply means you don't know what you want. A woman who is confused is a woman that does not know what she wants. And a lot of you women do not know what you want. So because you don't know what you want, you can't even identify what you want when you see it. That's why you see a lot of women grabbing so many things that they don't need. A lot of women have preoccupied their minds and their lives with things that they don't need. So when the things that you actually need come, there is no space to put it. There is no space for it to enter. Because you have occupied yourself with the things that you don't things that are not useful to you. You used to preoccupy yourself. Let it go now. No. You will drag and drag and drag and keep things that are some of you are your problem is because you have preoccupied yourself with things you don't need. Let it go. Let that thing go. It's time to focus. Yeah. Every lady claims to be single, yet they are in a relationship. Do you know why they always claim to be single? They claim to be single because they are not sure of the relationship they are in. That's why when you say single ladies, even people, all of them are in a relationship, but they'll still come out and say they are single. Now, how do you expect a relationship to work when you are in a relationship you are not sure of, yet you don't want to leave it? You see that you have preoccupied yourself with something. You are not focused. That is the reason why even when a good man is coming into your life, you don't know. Some of you have lost so many good men because you already have things, garbage, that you don't want to let go. Some of you are afraid to be alone. When you are alone, that's when you are focused. When you are alone, that's when you can identify the things that you want. When you are alone, that's when you see opportunity. When you are alone, that's when you see dreams, visions, and missions. You don't want to be alone. You preoccupy yourself with nonsense. A lot of you women want to date every man. Any man that comes into your life, you date. Any man that comes into your life, you keep. You don't select. So you have a lot of men that you are keeping pending. You have like five or six boyfriends that you are not using, yet you want to marry. Release them now. That is why you are confused. You have a lot of like two, three, four sugar daddies that you are not using, yet you want to marry. You are afraid of being by yourself. That thing you are doing doesn't make you smart. It makes you foolish. It makes you confused. It makes you not to know what you want. Many of you have lost so many good things in your life because of confusion. Because you have kept a lot of things that you don't need. You have preoccupied yourself with nonsense, with dustbin. You know, when you have dustbin around you, you'll be thinking that you have property. That's what's happening to you. Enough of the I'm single, I'm single. Enough of blaming men. You are blaming men too much. Men are not your problem. You are your problem. The first thing is to identify what you want. A lot of women, once you get to your 30s, you start to jump from church to church, Shiloh to Shiloh. Do you know why you are always jumping from Shiloh to Shiloh and church to church? Do you know why pastors have open office on top of your head? Because at the end of the day, you jump from church to church because you don't even know what you want. So many of you are running to church so that you are looking for who is going to help you shield the blame on your village people, on the man in your life, on your auntie in the village. That's, the, that's what they are doing to you. They will tell you that it's somebody that buried your placenta, somebody that buried your father's head. Mm -mm. Many times you are the problem. Many of you do not even know what you want because even if you see a good man, you can't even recognize him because you don't even know what it is to be a good man. It's time to begin to find out what is called identity. First is, who are you? Second is, what do you want? You need to understand who you are before you can know what you want. Eh? A you don't know. You women don't have an identity. How do you want to identify a good man? You first
first of all have to know yourself before you want to come and know what you need some of you don't know yourself and you don't even know what you want i'm making this video to tell you to stop pushing blame on the man many times men are not your problem it is very easy for a man to use and dump you when you don't know who you are it is very easy for a man to trample on your head tell you to do 50 abortion 100 abortion trample on your neck you come hey, 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 man. it is because you don't have an identity if you're a beautiful woman listening to this video today the first rule to getting into a relationship not just a relationship a right relationship is to identify yourself first of all sit down and ask yourself who am i who am i simply means your purpose your mission your vision why you were created on this earth then you now ask yourself what do i want it is from what you want that you now know what you want one from a man it's time to begin to look inward as a woman enough of the blame games blaming a man is not going to help you develop yourself leave a man alone find out who you are